Hello everyone, it is so good to see you today. Do you know what time it is? It's worship time. This is our chance to sing and dance and praise God because God loves us. God loves us no matter what. Let's sing our new song for this month called No Matter What I Know. And I'll be right back in just a few minutes. Hi friends, I am so happy to see you today. I'm Miss Brittany and I'm here to tell you a story from the Bible, God's word to us. Our Bible story comes from the book of 1 Samuel, which is in the first half of the Bible, also called the Old Testament. So this story is before Jesus was born. Our Bible story begins with a woman named Hannah. This is how Hannah felt. Can you tell me how Hannah felt by looking at my face? Was Hannah happy or sad? Yeah, Hannah was very sad. Show me your sad face. Oh, oh those are really sad faces. Hannah was sad because she wanted to have a baby. Pretend you're holding a baby with me like this, okay? Can you rock the baby? Babies are wonderful, but Hannah couldn't have a baby, and that's why she was sad. Okay, stop pretending. Have you ever really wanted something that you couldn't have? Sometimes we don't get what we want and we feel sad. Maybe you want to ride the swings, but they're all full. Maybe you want a special treat like ice cream or cookies, but you can't have one right now because it's almost dinner time. Maybe you really, really want to see a friend or your grandma or your grandpa, but you can't see them. Or maybe someone you love is very sick and they're just not getting better. Those things could make us all very sad. 
In our story, Hannah was sad all day, and then she was sad all night. She was so sad, she would cry. Would you like to know what Hannah did? What? I can't hear you. Do you want to know what Hannah did about being sad? I'm doing what Hannah did when she was very sad. What does it look like I'm doing? Yes, praying and talking to God. You see, Hannah knew she could always talk to God. So she prayed and talked to God about feeling sad. Hannah trusted God with all her heart because she knew God loved her. And after Hannah talked to God, she felt much better. See? Her face doesn't look sad anymore. Do you ever feel sad? Me too. Everyone feels sad sometimes, and that's okay. When we feel sad, we can do what Hannah did. We can always talk to God because God loves us no matter what. When I ask you who loves you no matter what, I want you to say our big idea, which is God loves me no matter what. Ready? Who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. One more time. Who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. And that's the truth. Let's pray together. Dear God, when we feel sad, please help us remember that we can always talk to you about how we feel. We can trust you with all our hearts because you love us no matter what. You're the best God. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I have some questions to help you remember our Bible story. Our Bible story about Hannah. Now, did this true story happen before or after Jesus was born? Mm-hmm, before Jesus was born, you're right. What did Hannah do so she wouldn't feel sad anymore? Yes, she prayed to God. And last question, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. Yes. All right, let's work on our memory verse. The Bible teaches us to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Let's learn that together. Listen to me and then you can do it with me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Now it's your turn. Ready? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Good job. Thanks for being such great listeners today. Don't forget this week to talk to God all the time, but especially so when you're feeling sad. I'll see you next time. Bye.